Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to run a FM17 experiment today and we're going to go back in time to Championship Manager 0102. Uh, you've seen the video I've posted earlier on today regarding getting that on the Android tablets and Android phones and if you haven't already seen that a link will be in the description down below so you can go and have a look at that and get that sorted out. But today we are doing an experiment, as I've just mentioned, and we are going to be looking at a mythical legend player. We've recreated him for the FM17 series, and to the delight of you guys, hopefully anyway, um, this guy, if I can spell his bloody name right, is to Madeira. Now, those of you that played um, Championship Manager 0102, uh, will know that Two Madeira was put into the game. He didn't actually exist. He was put in by one of the many uh, Cy Games Football Manager scouting networks. Back then it was Championship Manager. But it turns out that the player didn't exist. What I've done is I've got uh, both games installed on this computer. So I've gone into the uh, editor on both games and I've added Two Madeira to the uh, Football Manager 2017 database. I've replicated his stats. There's a couple of ones I've had to change slightly because they didn't have them in Championship Manager 0102. But he is in Football Manager 2017 now. And we're going to track his progress over the next 5 to 10 years. He's 22. He plays for the team that he played for on Championship Manager. Uh, it's Gouveia who play in, I think it's the third tier of the Portuguese League. He's got some really good stats. He's only valued at 400 quid. So it's going to be interesting to see what clubs come in for him, um, what his goal scoring record's like, and just how he gets on in the game. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to skip forward one year on holiday mode and see if anyone's coming for him or see if he's still at Guea and just see what kind of stats he picks up and if he improves. We are now back one year into the future. We're on the 1st of July 2017 and it's going to be interesting to see where Two Madeira has gone. So let's head across and have a look now while we're here. And it appears he plays for Toronto FC in the MLS. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting that. But he's played 17 games for Toronto, scoring 13 goals, uh, one via penalty, three assists, three man of the matches and a 7.76 average rating. Uh, that is a great return for their investment. He's now worth £2.5 million. Um, he's played eight games for his country, scoring three goals. So let's see how much they paid for him. Oh, wow. So <clears throat> Toronto picked him up for 4.2K. He's played 17 goals for Gouveia. Um, he scored 11 goals from 17 games. Two assists, one man of the match for a 7.25 average rating. So far, a total return of 21 goals in 32 games, five assists and three man of the matches for a 7.47 rating. Uh, I've got to say, I didn't really expect him to go into the, the MLS. Um, but I guess that's the beauty of this sort of game. Uh, not really sure where he's going to go after this. Maybe... I haven't got the USA League loaded, so I can't see how they're getting on uh, with him. But I assume they're doing quite well. His stats seem to have increased, which is um, as good as a good bit more orange than there was there at the start. So that's good. So let's skip another year into the future and let's see how he's getting on. We have now advanced another year into the save. And we are now on the 8th of July 2018. So let's go and see what is going on with to Madeira now see if he's still at Toronto no he's at Arsenal he's played 18 games for Portugal um, scoring four goals he's now valued at 24 million pounds let's have a quick look at his history so he has scored a total of 48 goals in 59 games he moved to Arsenal for 7 million at the start of this season he hasn't played a game yet for Arsenal um, let's go back to his profile so as we can see um, he has scored 37 goals in 42 games for Toronto a, gr a fantastic return I'm sure we can all agree he's now at Arsenal so it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on in the Premier League 
So let's, uh, we've done two years so far. So let's go another three years into the future to make it five years in total. And let's see, let's come back and see how he's getting on then. Let's see if he's still at Arsenal. Maybe one of the big Spanish teams might come in for him. Perhaps Barcelona or um, Real Madrid for that matter, or maybe Germany. Uh, or he could just stay in England. He could stay at Arsenal. Or he could go to Manchester United. Who knows? But let's forward three years into the future and find out. So after much holidaying, guys, we are now on 2021. Let's see where Tu Madeira is this time. And he's still at Arsenal. So he's stayed there. He scored 53 goals in 95 games for Arsenal. He's won the League Cup um, with Arsenal. He scored 101 goals in 154 games in total. He scored 19 in his first season after a £7 million move. 20 in his second season for Arsenal. Uh, 14 in his last season. 32 games played in almost every season for them. Six man of the matches, four man of the matches, two man of the matches. A healthy amount of assists and a really good high to... You know, 7.5, 7.3, 7.11. Um, I think he's been quite a success. Uh, let's have a look and see how his attributes compare uh, from when he started the game to how they are now at the age of 27. So here we are then, guys. Uh, we've got the start of the game when uh, I brought to Madeira into Football Manager 2017. And we've also got five years down the line where he's currently playing for Arsenal. Now, we've just looked how he's got on for Arsenal since he's joined. Uh, you'll notice that there are slight increases in certain stats. Uh, his anticipation's gone up by two. His crossing's gone up by one. Uh, generally speaking, though, he's pretty much stayed the same. Penalty taking's gone up by two. Um, teamwork's gone down by one. Leadership's gone up by one. Composure, concentration and decisions have also gone up by one. Uh, and pretty much everything else has stayed the same, really. His strength's gone up by four. That's quite a big... Uh, move there in strength from 10 to 14 so that that's quite big uh, it'd be interesting to see how he'd fare uh, if he was managed uh, by myself rather than left to the AI to develop uh, that can be something we can look at when we revisit this uh, for today guys I'm out of time with this um, episode uh, if you've enjoyed seeing how to Madeira uh, copes in today's Football Manager 2017. Please leave a like on the video down below if you'd like to see any more of the Championship Manager 0102 Legends brought into Football Manager 2017 and to see how they get on. Please let me know who you'd like to see in the comments section down below. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And for today, guys, make sure you catch the Stoa Bucharest save, episode 15, which will be released at around 4 pm today. Honestly, the goal that Bojan Golubovic scores is just absolutely amazing. But for today, guys, I am now out of time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Catch you again soon.